And welcome back. Protests in Wisconsin continued overnight, overnight for the shooting of 29-year-old Jacob Blake. Yesterday, the U.S. Department of Justice confirming it had opened a civil rights investigation into the case. The fallout from Blake's shooting is being felt far beyond Wisconsin, with the sports world reacting in an unprecedented way. The Milwaukee Bucks boycotting their NBA playoff game yesterday with other teams following suit. For more on that, we turn to Mike Tirico from NBC Sports. Mike, good to see you, my friend. Same here, Mr. Roker. Uh, good to see you back in Studio 1A as well. Thank you. Uh, so, so why was the Bucks' decision to boycott the playoff <clears throat> game such a big deal yesterday? Well, first off, Al, all these players and the teams in the league have done a lot just to be together in Orlando in a bubble to try and make this season finish in August and September when it should have finished in May and June. Pushed back, of course, because of COVID-19. But then the statement, the Milwaukee Bucks may be the favorite in the Eastern Conference to get to the NBA Finals. Most thought they would play the Lakers or the Clippers from Los Angeles in the NBA Finals. But because of what happened in Kenosha, their ability to come together, make a statement together as a group that they were not going to play, I think highlighted the real value that sports and athletes can have in a society. We don't know many people from Milwaukee unless you're from Wisconsin. We don't know many people from the state unless you travel through a family there. But you do know that those players represent that city and in extension that state. Mm -hmm. So their ability to do this and then have the other players follow their lead in the WNBA and three Major League Baseball games and Naomi Osaka, a tennis player, it speaks a lot to the pain that those athletes are feeling right now. You know, we saw so many uh, uh, press conferences yesterday that players were having and the, the raw emotion. And you talk about LeBron James, Jalen Brown, Chris Paul. Uh, do, do these players make a difference given that they have such a huge social presence that goes beyond just the world of sports? Al, I think they do more than ever. Uh, for whatever reason, when we follow people on social media, you feel like you know them. You know, you were putting out on Instagram videos of being back in Studio 1A today, and I feel like I'm there with you. The social media ability for athletes and musicians and entertainers is an ability to connect with your fans in a different way. People feel like they really know you and they really follow you. So now athletes, like you mentioned, have LeBron James, 70 million plus followers on Instagram. They can really connect with him, a direct message being sent. So when the players say, hey, enough of this, enough mistreatment of blacks who are stopped or involved in police situations, they're reaching a real audience. And that hopefully can matter in cities and towns as people put pressure on their politicians to try and change things that are unjust and not right and mistreatment that otherwise Al may not have gotten the attention that it's now again. You know, uh, four years ago yesterday, Colin Kaepernick took his first knee. And now here we are four years later, and this has now snowballed. Uh, is it going, do you think that this now is going to have an impact when you have the entire, I mean, what seems like almost the entire world of sports saying enough is enough? I, I think it has had an impact already. Now, does that mean that there have not been issues like we saw in Kenosha? No, that's not the case. But I do think there is a real awareness. Uh, if anything came out of the George Floyd situation nationally that crossed over into society, I think people are listening more often. I think athletes who have no longer, uh, no longer are playing, have retired, I think they're more willing now to speak up to the things that happen to them, their concerns for the next generation that follows them, for their kids as well. And because they're using this platform, we have to listen. And that is powerful. That wasn't happening when Colin Kaepernick did this. We didn't understand the Colin Kaepernick national anthem issue. We understand it a lot better as a nation and as sports fans now. So, yes, it's had an impact. And I think if the players continue to use their platform while playing, it will give more people the opportunity to understand what they're saying, how they're treated, and what can change. Mike Tirico, thanks so much for lending your, your thoughts and your expertise. We appreciate it, my friend. Hope to see you soon. Same here, pal. All, All right. the best. Take care, Mike.